Welcome to the Vineyard Studio. Today, I want to show you how to create this charming mommy-to-be balloon setup, including how to set up your backdrops, make the balloon garland, and incorporate those gorgeous floral pieces. To create the balloon garland, I'm first going to tie my balloons into quads. So that's inflating 11 inch balloons anywhere between eight and 10 inches in diameter, tying them together into a pair, and then twisting two of those pairs together into a quad. Now, in addition to all 11 inch balloon quads, I'm also going to incorporate one or two 17 inch balloons into some of those quads to give us a beautiful organic look. Now to tie all these quads into a garland, I'm gonna take two empty 260 balloons and tie them end to end in a double knot, and that will be the center string of my garland. Tie one end of that to the nozzles of your first quad, and an easy way to do that is by pinching the end of the 260 against those nozzles, and then snugly wrap it around a couple of the balloons to hold it in place. Nestle a second quad right up against the first one, and then stretch that 260 balloon right through the center of the new quad, and wrap it in a figure eight pattern around two of the balloons in the new quad, always making sure we bring that 260 back to the center, and that will be enough to hold our quads nice and snugly together in the start of our garland. From here on out, I'm going to continue to add quads in the same way, making sure I get them nice and snug, and wrapping that 260 around them a couple times. Now, as I continue to add balloons, I always want to be cognizant about what colors I'm putting next to each other and how evenly I'm distributing those large 17 inch balloons across the garland. Once you reach the end of that 260 balloon, tie the end of it to one of the nozzles in that final quad, and that will secure all our balloons together into the base layer of our garland. Now we need some structural pieces to drape our garland around, and I'm using these two arch frames that are six and seven feet tall respectively, and I'm gonna layer them one in front of each other. Now you can see right through them at the moment, and to fix that, I'm gonna put these white slip covers right over the top. These are easy to transport, and by pulling them tight, we get rid of all all the wrinkles. So once I've got them pulled all the way to the floor, I'm gonna rotate them around so that the seam of those fabric panels is right along the edge of my frame and nearly invisible. For today's design, I'll be winding the balloon garland around these arches, giving them an intricate look. And to hold that garland in place, we need some clamps. Now you can either use spring clamps from the hardware store or binder clips from the office supply store. Because my frames are so thin, I'll be using binder clips. So I'm just gonna clamp these right on the edge of my metal frames and leave the handles of that binder clip facing outwards. Now to that, I'm gonna tie an empty 260 balloon with a double knot, leaving the tail ends of that balloon nice and long so we can tie our garland to the frame using these tails. Now I've put two of these binder clips on the right side of the front frame and two across the top of the back frame as that's where I really need my garland to be secured to the backdrops. Before tying the balloons in place, now's the time to add any custom signage to these arches. So I created this mommy-to-be gold sign from Foam Board, and I've got a template for this linked below if you'd like to make one as well. To the back of this, I just taped some fishing line. I'm gonna throw that fishing line over the top of this front frame, and on the back side of that frame, I'll secure it in place with a safety pin. So I'm just gonna poke that through the fabric and then tie the fishing line to that safety pin. Now an easy way to do this is get your your sign placed right where you want it and then use one of those spring clamps to hold the fishing line in place while you tie the knot and that will make it so much easier to tie the knot without having to fight the weight of the sign. Then remove the clamp, flip the frame back around and we're ready to add our balloons to this design. I nestled the center of my balloon garland against the top clamp on that front frame and then bent the top half of my garland over towards the back frame. I nestled the garland right up against that front arch frame and then stretched the 260 balloon from that top clip out and around the garland and wrapped it in a figure eight pattern around a couple of balloons right next to it, securing it in place. I then wrapped the top of the garland back behind that first arch and down across the top of the rear arch. Once I was happy with its placement, I secured the entire thing in place, and then I could finally build out the garland so it was nice and luxurious. To do that, I inflated some extra 24 inch balloons and tied them into the garland using some empty 260 balloons. In addition to these really large ones, I also inflated some extra quads that I added to the beginning and the end of the garland. And this was especially true to the garland sitting on the floor. I wanted it to really pool up at the base of the arch before winding its way up. 
To fill in any gaps I might have in the garland, I created these mini balloon clusters, which is eight five inch balloons inflated to four pumps of air with a hand pump or about four and a half inches in diameter and tied together into quads. Then I'm gonna tie two quads to each other using an empty 260 balloon that I've cut in half and simply tie one quad to each end of that 260. To add these into the garland, I'm gonna stretch the 260 between those two little quads around one or two of the balloons that's already in the garland making sure I get that 260 wrapped near the nozzles of those balloons so that it's hidden from sight. Then you can just play around with how you place those little quads and fill in any gaps in the garland. Now once you're happy with the balloon placement, it's time to add in the florals. I'm using some eucalyptus garlands as well as some white floral nooseskays to add texture. Starting with the garlands, I'm gonna tuck the end of the garland in between some of the balloons so it's hidden from sight and then continue to wrap the garland back and forth in a winding path all the way across the balloons. Now I'm gonna tuck them in and out of the balloons so it disappears and reappears across the entire length of the balloon garland. And this is a great way to hide the ends of our florals so you never know where one garland starts and another one ends. Next, I'm gonna nestle in the white floral nooseskays anywhere I think I need a little bit more texture and interest. Placing florals can be a little fiddly, so once you've got them where you think you'd like them, take a couple sips back and look at your overall design to see if it's well balanced. If not, feel free to pull those florals back out and rearrange them until you're happy. Now as a final touch, I'm going to add these eucalyptus leaf sprays, and this will allow me to add a bit more greenery that comes away from my balloons and isn't just tucked deep inside. This gives me a little bit more texture and volume that comes out away from those balloons. Now I've only got a handful of these, so I'm going to evenly distribute them across the entire garland, and this design is ready for a celebration. If you enjoyed this video, you should check out this one. And until the next time, remember, stay creative everybody!